welcome to my channel if you don't know who i am my name is celine and today we're gonna do the second makeup look of the week i know it's the second one but i've been really into makeup right now i know it's been months that i don't do any crazy uh makeup so that's why we're gonna do another makeup look hopefully by next week we're gonna have something different but before starting this video don't forget to subscribe give a thumbs up and let's get started. I'm going to use uh, the Maybelline Face Studio uh, to prime my face uh, before applying some makeup. And as you can see, it is a gel one. Especially, I love these because I have oily skin. So I, I concentrate this product on my T-zone where I'm more oily. And then just bring it to the rest of my face. For foundation, I'm using again the CoverGirl uh, Skin Milk in the number 560 in the color medium. I was gonna go for the Pro Matte, the L'Oreal Pro Matte foundation. I grabbed it, but then I went back to this one because uh, the Pro Matte it's a little bit too heavy. Oh my God, it's a little bit too heavy for Rhino, especially it's still hot today. Dewy and it gives you coverage. Um, so it's it's perfect for right now that it's still hot so that's why I'm going back uh, to this foundation and I'm just going to uh, blend the foundation on my face and I usually like for this foundation even though it's summer and I like to have foundations that are a little bit lighter uh, not really matte so if it's not matte uh, and I want a foundation to be dewy but not matte. Usually for summer, I usually apply whatever foundation it is. I usually apply two coats of foundation because right now I'm having. I feel like my skin is not. Uh, it's not that perfect. As I mean, like it, it. I'm having too much pimples right now, basically. So I want to have more coverage. I'm going to apply the second coat. Just a little bit, just a little bit, and I don't know for you guys if it's too much, <laughs> but I really want to have that coverage. So right now I'm doing my brows with the NYX Fill and Fluff Eyebrow Pencil in the color black. And if you didn't see that video where I talked about why I use color black, I know you're not supposed to use color black, but if you want to know why I uh, invite you guys to go and check out that video I'll leave the link down below but meanwhile I'm getting an expert again at doing my brows the first time they were so thick <laughs> the good thing is that I didn't um, put foundation so it was so easy to clean but they were so thick I was like oh my god these are not my eyebrows <laughs> That was funny. For the transition color, I'm going to use this Too Faced White Chocolate Bar in the color Cake Batter. On the last video, I told you guys how much I love this beautiful color as a transition or just leave it by itself. And we are going to blend this uh, on our crease. And just don't be afraid to use this color, especially because it's really light. And if you make any mistakes, uh, it's it's easy to clean and for this makeup I'm applying the Maybelline concealer and to do this cut crease so I'm just going to make the shape of the cut crease so we can then apply the color for this makeup look the it's going to be the same color as the color of my shirt so you guys know what it's going to be about and I just grab a very thin brush to make the shape of the crease it's right here on the lid so for the cut crease I'm going to use this beautiful very pigmented yellow and just apply it on top of um the concealer that i just put and just tap tap right here on the concealer where you did the shape of 
the cut crease don't drag the color because then you will remove or it's going to look ugly with uh, the concealer that you already applied on your lid so just tap 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 and work it just take your time so I just grabbed a thinner brush just to go over the edges of the cut crease and we're gonna blend again the color the transition color so it looks nice and neat and for the inner corner of my eye I'm going to use this purple color just to add just a little bit more color on the inner corner of the eye and just tap it in and blend the color with the yellow so it doesn't look too harsh and for concealer I'm using the elf camel concealer I was gonna use the Maybelline but then because today my dark circles are super dark <laughs> um, decided to go for this one it gives me more coverage so just apply this and tap it in I said before I write I prefer to do one by one because it dries super quick and then you can't really work it so that's why I go one by one and for the eyeliner I'm going to use the L'Oreal matte signature I did um, a review on this so I'll leave the link down below so you guys go and check it out if you haven't seen it the brush of this eyeliner because it is easy to grab it's just like a pencil so it is really easy to do your cat eye and, and it's really a matte eyeliner, so you guys are into matte. It's really a good one. And for my lashes, I'm going to use the Ardell lashes. They're kind of huge, but I think it goes with the makeup. It's in the number, what is it? It's in the number 853. I think it's the double lashes. I don't have the package anymore. So I'm going to put these lashes on. Tu dois avoir un truc avec ces cils parce que je je peux pas très bien trouver le truc. To contour my face, I'm going to use the Parque Princess Tarte Palette to contour my face, and I'm using the Princess Cut Color. That's actually the one that I'm always using usually during winter I use the color angle but for right now the princess cut is my color just going to wait for the lashes to dry and then apply some mascara and for the blush I'm using the elf blush palette and the very like that very sweet pink color I really like to use this one during the summer I really like the colors. It's perfect for summer. So just apply a little bit. Do you have some color on the cheeks? I had to use another one, the floral toner, because the Garnier, I finished it. I thought I could really grab the last drops of it, but I couldn't. <laughs> it wasn't coming out. And to highlight my face, I'm going to use the Oh My Glow palette from Jada's and in the color Snow Dust. I grabbed another color, the Aura color, because it was too white and I didn't really like it. So to combine my lashes and the other lashes, I'm just going to use this L'Oreal mascara highlight the inner corner of my eye so I'm going to use the snow dust from the highlight palette from Jada's the one that I didn't like for my nose and just apply right here to highlight the makeup now moving on to the lips I'm going to use the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in the color corset and I'm going to uh, mix it with the NYX butter gloss in the color creme brulee yeah I like it 
like it. I like these two. Because this gloss looks, it is more pinky. If you don't, it goes more in the pink shade. If you leave it by itself. But when you combine it with this color, it makes it, it looks more nude. And just in case you don't have a nude. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful purple yellow makeup look. I really fell in love with this makeup. I really like this time I don't even want to uh, take it off. It looks very nice. But I hope you enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Give a thumbs up. I'll leave my social media on the description box. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Brulee, creme brulee. I think I made a mistake.